Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide. Mohammed Niaz with you. In this video, we're going to talk about managing IP addresses in Microsoft Azure. We know we have two type of IP addresses, private and public IP addresses. For the connectivity between the data center devices, you use private IP address and public IP address is to connect to internet. So if you have any service provided outside your data center, outside your organization, you need a public IP address so that it can be accessed over the internet. Private IP addresses are from Azure Virtual Network and are used for private communication on the private network that is the virtual networks that you create inside Azure Data Center. And the public IP addresses you can assign to your resources like virtual machine or SQL database or whatever the resource that you build up in Microsoft Azure Cloud. And you can provide access to public, to the internet so that your application or your web services can be accessed over the internet. In this video, we're going to cover how to create a new public IP address, how to assign it to the resources, how to unassign it, how to reserve a public IP address, and we will save the same for private IP addresses also. To create a public IP in Microsoft Azure, log into Microsoft Azure portal. Then you can see from the Azure services public IP address, or you can simply type here for public IP address then select public IP address as service then click add button to create a new public IP address this open a new blade and you have to fill up all these to create a new public IP address let us fill one by one the first option is IP version you have IPv4 and IPv6 or you can choose both if you select both, you will get two IP addresses, one IPv4 and IPv6. The next is SKU, that is Stock Keeping Unit. It can be basic or standard. The main difference is that the standard is closed to inbound traffic by default. So if you want to allow any kind of inbound traffic through this public IP address, then you need to whitelist it in the network security group. So if you don't know about network security group, I would like to advise you to go back to the network security group videos. That is the last three videos in the same series. And also the other option with the standard is it is zone redundant. For example, if you have two virtual machines and running in different region and you want redundancy between these two zones with this public IP address, then you have to go with standard. If it is just for a standalone virtual machine, then basic is enough. The other difference here is standard SKU public IP address as a static assignment only while the basic SKU can either be static or dynamic. So you can see that when I select standard, it grayed out and only give static option. Now let us give a meaningful name, for example, web app demo. Then go to DNS label. So fill up a DNS entry so that you will get a DNS address under cloudapp.azure.com. This name need to be unique. So once you take out your mouse control, you will get a tick mark here if it is a unique one. Then you can give a name for IPv6 configuration. I'm going to choose IPv4 so that I don't need to fill it up. Then select your subscription. If you have a resource group existing, you can select it. Or if you want to create a new resource group, just click here and create a new resource group. Then click OK. Then choose the location. Then you can see the availability zone is zone redundant. If you go to the basic, you can see it disappeared because basic doesn't offer zone redundancy. So let's create this one. Now you can see all the fields are validating and the deployment is in progress. So now let us create a virtual machine and try to assign the public IP address that we have created in the previous step. So I just filled up all the necessary things that required to create a virtual machine. So we're going to create a virtual machine Windows Server 2012. 
click nest until you reach the networking configuration side and from here you can see you have an option to select the public IP so by default a public IP is assigned to this virtual machine that is why it is shown as a new PB demo IP address the PB demo is a virtual machine name hyphen IP address is the default IP address that gonna assign with this virtual machine when you create a new virtual machine so I want to assign here the public IP that I just created before so I'm gonna select web app demo this is the public IP that we created then I can put advanced or basic or the normal security group anyway I allowed RDP access then click next for the management then I have nothing to explain about this our scope is just to manage the public IP address only so I will just click here review and create let's wait to complete the deployment now you can see the virtual machine deployment has completed let's go back to the public IP address that we create here now this is the public IP that we created and we assigned to the virtual machine now let us try to remote desktop to this machine with this IP address now you can see I'm able to access this virtual machine with the public IP address that we created and assigned to the virtual machine now let us see if you want to change this IP address to a different IP address or if you want to remove the public IP address of a virtual machine how to do that so let's go to the virtual machine then select the virtual machine then from here go to networking then select network interface then from here you can see IP configurations and you can see that we have a public IP address assigned here you can just click on this one then you can disable the public IP address from here once you click save the public IP address assignment has been disabled from this virtual machine now it is very clear and easy for you to create a public IP address and assign it to a virtual machine you don't need to do it separately when you create a virtual machine you get a public IP address but in some case you may create a virtual machine without public IP address or you may keep public IP address or public access for a limited time of uh, period and then this is going to be good for you to remove the public IP address or to assign a public IP address whenever you need it so we know about public IP address what about the private IP address let's see how to reserve a private IP address for a virtual machine that is similar to the local area network so you can go to the virtual machine from there select networking then from here select network interface then from here IP configuration then you can see the private IP address here is dynamic you can double click on it the same place where we disabled the public IP address just go and select static then you can give an IP address here that is going to be reserved for your virtual machine then you click save the IP address below 10.0.0.4 is reserved for the internal purpose so you can use IP address that start from 4 onwards so that is why the virtual machine the very first virtual machine that created in this virtual network start with 10.0.0.4 this was explained very well in the first video series so that is all thank you for watching this video and continue to watch azure networking series and subscribe my youtube channel for more videos